Hey everybody, hey, what's up everybody, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, people, coming to you live, House of X Entertainment presents, it's me, Watson, yes, honey, coming to you now live, what's up Twitter family, what's up YouTube family, what's up Facebook family, and my Instagram peoples, what's up? Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to another amazing cook with me, guys. So, guys, today we're making roasted chicken and potatoes. So we're going to do a little bit of um, stir-fried vegetable in a minute. But before we get into that, guys, let's wash our hands. Okay. All right. So I have my chicken over here. Um, so we're going to wash and we're going to take off the skin guys because you know I do not um, eat the skin on chicken. So we're going to go ahead and just clean off all of this fat. Alright. Okay, so let's just make sure this is well clean. Okay. Alright. So these are legs guys. We're doing legs and thighs. So we're taking off the skin off of this. Sometimes it can be very hard to get this off. Other one. Okay. All right. Make sure you clean your meat very well, guys. Okay. How's everybody out there doing? Now we're going to run some cold water, guys. Okay. So we're going to put this fat in the garbage. Let the cold water run. Okay, let's put this in the garbage. All right. And then we're going to rinse this off. Okay. We're going to run some more cold water. a little salt and you can also put some um, some vinegar if you need to. I had vinegar in mine before we started. All right. Just make sure there's no excessive fat. All right. Of course, some parsley. 
All right, this is dry parsley. And then we're gonna need, we're going to need some obey seasoning, or adobo seasoning, okay? Just a little bit of that. And then we're going to need one tablespoon of cooking base. Okay, leave that out because we're going to need it for the potatoes. And then we're going to need about one, two and a half tablespoons of olive oil. Okay. All right. And then we have our W sauce. Okay. So just a few drops of the W sauce for flavor, two or three drops to your liking. And then what we're gonna do now, guys, is just go ahead and mix. All right, again, we're not using any type of food coloring or anything. We're just using regular natural seasonings. All right. So, and then what else we're gonna do? is put our, our chicken in this pan here. We're gonna spray it. I have, I'm gonna put all of my, my food in this pan. So I'm gonna put my chicken on here first. We're gonna spray this aluminum foil, which is pan, okay? All right, and we're gonna lay our chicken down here, all right? Okay, make sure you get all of your ingredients out of the bowl. All of your ingredients out of this bowl. Okay. All right. So while you're doing that guys, the next thing that you can do is turn your oven to 400 degrees. Okay. And now we're going to work on our, our potatoes. So these are red potatoes, guys. These are specifically for when you're you're baking, um, you're trying to roast potatoes. And you're trying to do it together with like a chicken, a lamb. It's recommended because they're more sweeter and they have more they use for that type of um, making a dish. Okay, so we're gonna cut these in half. All right. You also want to make sure that it does it doesn't look rotten. Because sometimes you can buy potatoes from the store, and you know, they can look a little rotten. Okay, so just cut them in half. Okay, if it's Nice big ones, you can cut them in fours, however you want to do it. However, you want to do it, that's fine. Okay, the big ones I'm going to cut into uh, bigger pieces, smaller pieces, okay? All right. And yes, you leave the skin on, guys. But that was that's gonna give you your flavor. Okay. All right. Let's cut this. I'm cutting them in fours. Okay. Okay. All right, there we go. See, I have more potatoes, guys. If you would, it was a, just a little bit. Now I have a lot of potatoes by cutting them in four. So with this, okay, with this, guys, um, what I'm gonna do is now season my potatoes the same way. So I'm going to put 
a, te a tablespoon of the cooking bay. And I'm gonna put some, a little bit of the parsley and my onion powder and black pepper. And I have my garlic powder, okay? And a little bit of adobo seasoning, not too much. You don't want it to be salty. And my um, olive oil. So, okay. And then just a drop of your W sauce. Okay. All right, and then we're just gonna mix this. We're just gonna mix this. Okay. All right. When it tastes good so far. So what we're gonna do is just sprinkle our potatoes on the top. So the juice and everything will marinate. You're putting your potatoes on the top, and your chicken is on the bottom. This is gonna make its own juice. All right. Okay. So now I'm just gonna put a little bit of garnish on the top of it, and then just throw my my onions and peppers in here and toss them around. Hold on, guys. So I'm just gonna cut up one slice of green pepper. But you don't have to dice it. Okay. All right. You don't have to dice this. So I'm gonna put it in there. Okay. And uh, I have a red bell pepper. So just. Just a little bit of that is good enough. Okay. And then we're going to do the onion. So one small onion is fine. You don't have to chop it up. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna mix this around. So that your your onions and peppers can get some of that flavor. Okay. Alright. And then we're gonna toss it in our pan here. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in, see how nice and pretty it looks guys? I'm gonna put in about a tablespoon and a half of butter. So one full tablespoon in the middle of butter and then a half anywhere and then that's it you put it in the oven you let sit it accumulates its own juice its own color and everything all right guys and you let it bake so guys the next time we come back we'll be checking our our roast and working on our veggies Okay guys, welcome back. So we're doing our veggies now. So I have my um, spinach here. We're gonna steam those. And I have my broccoli and string beans over here boiling. All right guys, so what we're gonna do is just let our spinach simmer down. This is some fresh spinach. So we're just gonna let it simmer for a second. 
okay? It's in a medium heat. All right, and our roasted chicken and potatoes are still cooking because we want to make sure that it gets brown. So you want to cook it for like 35 minutes, 40 minutes time. Okay. All right, so we have our olive oil there. Let's check on our broccoli and string beans. Okay. tablespoon of butter. Okay. And then we have our W sauce, just a little drop. Okay. All right. So you want to make sure that you mix it around. And we have our broccoli in there. All right, a nice, healthy dinner. Okay, look at that guy. Okay, let it simmer. All right. Okay. Now we're going to start our. Our roasted potatoes and chicken. Okay, guys. All right. Let me get another um thing to take this out. Okay, guys. Are you ready? Look, guys. See. See how beautiful that looks, guys. See, it generated its own juice and everything. So you have all of that juice to put on top of your potatoes and your chicken. Nice and healthy meal. All right, guys. Okay, so now we're just going to wait for our vegetables. And we are going to plate. 
Okay? Are you hungry? Okay. All right. So, there we have it. So we're gonna take out our chicken first. All right, your chicken can be whatever, however dark you want your chicken, it's fine. If you want it dark dark, then that's up to you. Okay, but that is done, guys. Okay, now we're gonna do our potatoes. Okay. And as you can see, it made its own juice. Own juice. See the um, onions and peppers and all that, all that sauce and everything. Look at that, guys. A nice, healthy meal. Nothing fattening or anything. Woo woo. Okay. Look at this. Yes, guys. Got to get back to eating healthy. Alright. So I'm going to put our juice now. Okay. Alright, guys. Hold on. One second. like subscribe and share tap that notification bell so you always be notified each time i upload or each time i go live don't forget to check out my book on amazon and bronze and nobles remember to pray for those that you see Ooh, and pray for those that you don't see yes what's up twitter family what's up youtube family what's up